biblical question it says, Dear Church, I'm originally from Gallup, New Mexico. All right. I am now living in Las Cruces. I started coming to Christ and I came across Brother Jennings. I could never really understand the Bible until the Lord put your church in my path. Thank God for that. I was raised by a pastor, a Trinitarian, mm -hmm. and, my, and my mother who tried to become a preacher. Mm -hmm. I saw her go through horrible things like schizophrenia. A long story short, I want to walk with God the right way, and I've been looking for a church here in Las Cruces to be baptized, but so far they've only been praying over me and hitting me with the fire of the Holy Spirit. Hmm. Listen, <laughs> tell them devils stop hitting on you. Right. They ain't hitting on you with the fire of the Holy Spirit. That's the devil in them. Right. Huh? Don't Listen, when you're in these false churches, don't let nobody lay hands on you. Don't let none of these devils pray over you. Don't even let the bishop anoint you with oil. Amen. Get away. Run far away from them. Amen. They're not hitting you with the Holy Spirit. That's the devil in them. Amen. Committing physical abuse upon you. That's right. <laughs> All right. I see others get it and jerk and cry, but nothing for me. Mm -hmm. They keep asking if I feel a little heat. <laughs> That's the devil, isn't it? That's the devil, man. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, Brother Dan. And I'm ashamed to say I lied and said yes. Yeah. Don't let, let, here, here, here. <laughs> Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. That's right. Tell the truth. Stand up and tell the truth. Amen. When Amen. you receive the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, the Bible didn't say you're going to feel heat. No, no, no. I remember there was one fellow who used to be under me. He tried to slip that teaching in Mobile. Yeah. Try to tell the folk when you receive the Holy Ghost, you're going to feel warm. You're going you're gonna to get heated. And the scripture he used when the prophet said it's like fire, shut up in my bones. Uh -huh. all, all, all the prophet was describing how the power of God works. Right. Bible never said you're going to get heated or no. overheated. No. No. no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Thank God how foolish these liars are. Amen. All right. I'm ashamed to say I lied and said yes. Mm -hmm. Just so they would move on to the next. Yeah, place. make them leave you alone. But that's tell it. the truth. <laughs> you that are watching, we, that's in these false religions, stop letting these folks beat on you. You know, in false churches, they have prayer service. Yeah. And then you got a bunch of people yelling all over you, beating on you. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, somebody yell, call them, call them, call them. Say yeah, say yeah, say yeah. You give me a headache. That's right. And say that's the Holy Ghost. That's a bunch of noise. Amen. You yelling over me ain't going to make me closer to God. No. It's not going to make me more or less. Amen. That's right. Come on, Dan. Let's have it. This letter comes from California. All right. It says, trying times demand strong leaders. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord, Gino Jennings. My family and I have been receiving God's truth through you for almost one year. Thank God for that. I believe that we need more laborers like yourself. So the Lord of Lords may sprout more churches with strong soldiers willing to fight for the truth and part from the world. That's my desire, to sprout more temples up around the world so strong soldiers can be in the pulpit and those soldiers have to stay on the fiery line. Can't love money, can't love popularity, can't love prestige. Can't love compliments, can't love notoriety, can't love praise, can't take church money so you can start buying yourself cars and houses. Am I right? That's a strong, good soul. Amen. You got to have the love of the soul of people in you. And the soldier got to be able to endure hardness. You know, a soldier in the military. If he looked to make something out of himself, he must endure the drill sergeant. Yeah. You, you, you got to take it. When that drill sergeant stand over you, stand over you and just bark and bark and chew you out. He don't care how timid you are. He don't care if you break down crying. All he know if you plan on remaining in his unit Thank God he going to work on you. Amen. I say that to say this. If you plan on making the resurrection, 
of the coming of the Lord. I'm going to work on you. And yours, you can hate me all you want. It doesn't matter. I'm going to work on you. Uh, you. You can't offer me nothing to manipulate me from working on you. Why? The Lord is coming. God, when the Lord get here, I, I, I plan on hitching a ride. Wonderful, yeah? wonderful, I don't plan on him coming and going and leave me stranded. Oh, no, I want to go back with him and reign throughout eternity Amen. along with the God of the prophets. Amen. All right. We go to a one's church here in California. They go to what? A one's church. A one's church. All right. We go to a one's church here in California and try to stay in line with the Bible as best we can, uh -huh. but there's still work to be done. I believe that. We were saddened to see that there weren't any churches of your doctrine here, but we will continue to pray. God bless you, your first lady, and your beautiful family. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you for that wonderful letter. Yeah. Well, if you notice the language, what she says, she said, your first lady. Yeah. yeah, she's right. right. She ain't the church first lady. No. She's mine. Right. She personalized. Wonderful. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. Now, I do want to make one correction, writer. You said you couldn't find a church with my doctrine. I have to say, like Jesus, my doctrine. Right. This doctrine is not mine. It's not mine. That's right. Let's, let's, let's get some Bible for this. In the book of St. John, chapter many, 7. Many, many people write me, and they are so grateful to the word, they express their gratitude. That's right. Yeah. Amen. But when somebody put praise on me that only belonged to God, I, I have to put it in right perspective. Right. Because I don't want my heavenly father look down on me. That's right. No, no. Listen at this. In St. John, chapter 7, and at verse 16. All right. Jesus answered them. Jesus answered them and said, my doctrine, my doctrine is not mine. What do you mean? My teaching didn't come from me, That's and right. but his, who? his, I'm saying the same thing. His that sent me. This doctrine that I'm preaching is not mine. Is his. his. What his? It's God's. That's right. And that's the one that sent me. Right. All right. Come on, Dan. Oh, truth. It's a title. What? Truth is the title of this uh, oh, letter. All right. I love your teaching. I know what was going on. I thought something <laughs> hit you over there. <laughs> All right. I love your teaching. Yeah. I want to look towards baptism. All right. Before that, I have a question. Mm -hmm. I need help with this person says. I was studying the Jehovah's Witnesses and need to know what you think about the 144,000 and Colossians chapter 1 verse 15. The 144,000 are the direct descendants of Abraham according to the flesh. You'll find that I believe in the seventh chapter of the book of Revelation. Each tribe was sealed 12,000. The tribe of Dan, the tribe of Reuben, the tribe of Judah, the tribe of Benjamin, the tribe of Joseph, the tribe of Issachar, the tribe of Nephtali, all 12 sons, thank God, which were the sons of Jacob that fallen to the 12 tribes of Israel. Each tribe was sealed 12,000. And the 12,000 uh, that were sealed formed to 144,000. The lie that the Jehovah Witnesses has preached, they preach that the 144,000 are the only ones, only ones that's going to be saved that's right. uh, concerning uh, at the end. At the end. Right. Jehovah Witnesses don't know what they're talking. No. No, the 144,000. Now, let us remember. Let me show you how many houses of Israel is it. If chapter the book of Isaiah quickly. Isaiah, Amen. Amen. There are two houses of Israel. Here, here, here now. I want you to get this. There are two. I want every Jehovah Witness to get this. There are two houses of Israel. All right, let's find this in the 8th chapter book of uh, Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 8, we'll start at verse 10. Move quick. Take counsel together. And Take counsel together. And it shall come to naught. And it shall come to naught. Speak the word and it shall not stand. Yes. For God is with us. What happened? Now we're down at verse 14. Yes. And he shall be for a sanctuary. He shall be for a hiding place. But God shall be for a hiding place. God is our refuge. Yes, right. He shall be for a sanctuary, but for a stone of stumbling. Huh. For a stone of stumbling and for a rock of offense. Where would it be located? To both the houses of Israel. Now, what do you mean both the houses of Israel? There are two houses of Israel. Wait a minute, Pastor Jenny, you said it's 12 tribes. That's right. 
But I said it's two houses. Two houses. Both. Both the houses. Both. Both houses. There's a spiritual Israel. Yeah. And there's a natural Israel. Yeah. Now, natural Israel, the law was to be circumcised of the flesh. Each male child had to be circumcised eight days after his birth. Thank God, but spiritual Israel, they must be circumcised in the heart. Who praises not of men, but of God. Now, the natural Israel, when they, those that was born, and God established this in the book of Genesis, that all of them that was your kin, that will be born into your house, Abraham, must be circumcised. But then, the Lord went outside of the connection of the flesh to Abraham and said, them that are strangers. You better give chapter and verse for this. Now in the book of Genesis chapter 17, we'll start at verse 12. Right here, 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 right here, he established both houses. That's right. Uh -huh. Genesis chapter 17, we'll start at verse 11. Follow me. And ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin. He's going to circumcise what? The flesh of your foreskin. The flesh. Talking about the seed of Abraham. That's right. Uh -huh. And it shall be for a token of the covenant betwixt me and you. Yes. And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you. All right. That was the rule or the law given from God to Abraham in reference to all the Hebrews or the Jews according to the flesh. Every man child in your generation. You see that? Every, Every man, man child, child in your generation. He that is born in the house. He that's born in the house. Or. Or. Bought with money of any wait, stranger. Wait, 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 wait. That's right. If you're born in the house, that means you're connected to Abraham according to the flesh and you're of his seed. That's right. That's right. But what else? Or bought with money of any stranger. Stranger represent the Gentiles that's in your house. That's right. What that's Gentiles was in the house? Them that are bought is talking about slaves. That's right. Eh? Which is right. not of thy seed. What? Which is not of thy seed. They're not related to you. So under Abraham's house, blessed be the name of God. Under Abraham's house, you had Jew and Gentile. Right. Now, what did Abraham house represent? Abraham's house represent the Lord's house. Watch right. Abraham's house represent the church. Right. Within Abraham's house, you had Jew and Gentile. Within God's house, you had Jew and Gentile. Don't you hear one of the Jewish brothers declaring? Repent! Repent. And be baptized, Amen. every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Now that same Jew, blessed be the name of God, that preached this on the day of Pentecost, one day he was on the housetop, and a vision came down from God out of heaven, uh, like a four-corner sheet. A sheet came down like four corners, and the vision came three times. Within that sheet was all type of four-footed beast and creeping things and fowl of the air. God showed this Jew by the name of Peter that it's time to go to those that was once in Abraham's house that was not of his seed. Right. So here comes right. Peter, glory to God. He, he had a conversation right. with the Lord. And the Lord said, it's time for you to get up now. Rise, Peter. You better rise and slay and eat. That's right. Now, notice the conversation between Peter and and the Lord was centered around meat. That's right. That's right. Meat. 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 Not, not fruit. No, meat. Not vegetables. Flesh. Not greens. Flesh. Meat. Flesh. Right. What is meat? Flesh. 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 That's right. Amen. So I'm going to let you look at flesh as fowls of the air. Right. Then you know they're exalted in the earth. I'm going to let you look at flesh as fishes and all type of unclean things. That's right. Because the reason why I'm going to show you that, because in the Old Testament, I commanded that my people right. will abstain right. from all kind of meat, right. even certain type of fish, right. them that were shell fish. But right. <laughs> right. well, what does what, what a shell fish right. represent? You know, uh, uh, when you got a shell fish, right. you got flesh Amen. that's within Amen. something hard. That's right. Hallelujah. Our heart. That's right. It's like a shellfish. That's why God said, I gotta break up. That stony heart. And I give you. That's right. Hallelujah to God. A heart of flesh. Amen. So now when God told the old 
church or the church in the wilderness to abstain from the different meat. Now he come along. Had a Jew up on a housetop. Falling into a trash. And after he showed him that folk on the sheet, he said, get up. Slay and eat. Why did God show Peter unclean people in the form of food? Because God did this to interrupt the Old Testament dietary law. That's right. Wonderful, wonderful. That dietary law represents abstaining from natural food. That's right. But from a spiritual perspective, they also abstain from certain people. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. That's right. So the Peter responded to the Lord. Uh, Peter said, not nothing. so, Lord. No, nah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not so, Lord. For I've never for eaten I've anything never that is common. never eaten anything that is common or unclean. That's right. But the Lord said. And the voice spake unto him again the second time. And said what? What God has clean. Hey, Peter, no use talking. Amen. What, what I. Has cleansed. Has cleansed. That called not Don't thou common. Don't you call common. And you bear in mind, the vision came, the sheep came three times. Amen. Before you know it, three men. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Yeah. Three men come from the house of a Gentile. That's right. Three men come from the house of a Gentile. Cornelius was an Italian. He was not related to Abraham's house. Thank God. So Abraham's house came to the Gentiles. That's right. Someone said the Bible didn't say that. Oh, it said it. You just couldn't see it. But Peter was of Abraham house two ways. He was of Abraham house according to the flesh and he was of Abraham house because he was of Abraham child by faith. Because he believed in the God of Abraham. You get what I'm talking about. Amen. Just like the church. Now, I'm a Gentile. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes I'm a Gentile. Yes, sir. And I have some Hebrew Israelites say, when are you going to tell the people I'm a Jew? All right, I confess. I confess. I'm a Jew. And I'm going to show you how I'm a Jew. In Romans chapter 2. Give me Romans. Glory, 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 glory to God. Romans the chapter 2. The second chapter of the book of Romans. And at verse 28. All right. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. I'm going to show you what kind of Jew I am. That's right. Listen at the Apostle Paul. For he, in Romans 2 and at verse 28. All right. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. He is not a Jew. Which is one outwardly. Neither is that circumcision, which Neither is outwardly. Neither is that circumcision. Which is outward in the flesh. But, but he is a Jew. Ah, Amen. He is a Jew. That's right. right there, Paul's preaching about both houses of Israel. That's right. That's right. One that's circumcised. That's right. And now he's going to tell you the spiritual kind. That's right. All right. But he is a Jew. He is a Jew. Which is one inwardly. Which is one inwardly. And circumcision. Circumcision. Is that of the heart. Is that of the heart. In the spirit. In what? In the spirit. In what? In the spirit. In what? In the spirit. In the spirit. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Amen. Got to be in the spirit. That's right. Now, let me give you an understanding. Glory to God on high. Whenever that child eight days after its arrival from the birth canal of the mother, there's a certain instrument that one will use for the circumcision to remove the foreskin off the flesh. Amen. And the instrument was shot, and when the foreskin was removed, the child cry out. Cry out. Now, the foreskin was kept as a token, showing and proving that I got circumcised. That's right. If you truly been circumcised Wonderful. spiritually yes, sir. in the heart, yes, sir. now the instrument that's used Wonderful. is the word. Word of God. Because it's called a sword. That's right. And it's used to circumcise the heart. That's right. Just like the little baby cry out because there's something got a hold of it and pain hit it. That's right. uh, it was a new kind of pain yeah. that made it cry out. Glory to God when the power of God right. get in your heart yes, and begin to circumcise it. You're going to cry out. Yeah. That's right. Amen. You, hallelujah. Glory to God. Take God. Wonderful, You're going to cry out right, the power of the gospel and make you cry out and make you surrender. Wonderful. So yes, they are both houses of Israel. There's the natural house and there's the spiritual house. There's the church in the wilderness 
and there the church that started on the day of Pentecost where they repented of their sins and were baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and received the baptism of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue as the spirit of the living God give utterance alright damn the man come on this person says I need to know what you think about the 144,000 so the 144,000 was those that were selected direct from Abraham offspring that, will, that was the elect chosen ones of God that were Jews. That's right. That's right. But the Jehovah Witness got it wrong and think that that can be the only group saved. That right. 144,000. That's right. They forgot. Revelation chapter 7. The book of Revelation. Chapter 7. That says I saw a number. A after oh, this. No. Listen. 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 Revelation chapter 7 and at verse 9. What? After this. Hold it. After this. After, after I saw a hundred and 44,000. After this, I beheld. The spirit wasn't done with Brother John. That's right. I kept looking. That's right. And I beheld. A great multitude. Oh, hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. A great multitude. Which no man could number. That's the church. That's right. That's, hallelujah. That's the church. That's right. Now, that's the other house of Abraham. That's right. Now, Abraham's spiritual house Amen. is bigger right. than Abraham's That's natural right. house. That's right. Huh? That's right. Don't you hear the prophet Hagar right. says that the latter house right. shall be great than the former. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory right. to God. He said Wonderful. the glory, the glory of, the latter. of the latter house right. shall be greater the than the former. Yeah. So from Abraham's seed, yes, according to the flesh, yes. just a hundred and forty-four thousand. That's right. But from those after this that come from Abraham's seed by faith. That's right. John said, After this I beheld, I looked, and lo, a great multitude. I saw a great multitude. Which no man could number. I can't count them. That's right. No I'm man could number. Wonderful, wonderful. Amen. What he said. I beheld a great, I saw multitude, a great multitude which no man can number. No man can count. Of all nations. Of what? Of all nations. Just Jews. All nations. No, just Jews. All nations. Who? All nations. All nations. And kindreds. Kindred. And people. People. And tongues. Tongues. Stood before the throne. Stood before the throne. And before the land. And before the land. Clothed with white robes. Hallelujah. Amen. Talking about the spiritual Jew. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Spiritual Jew. So the Jehovah Witnesses don't know what Amen. they're talking they don't know. Oh, when they no. say only 144 are going to be saved. No, that's no. dealing with Abraham's seed according to the flesh. The flesh. Thank Amen. God, but there's a number that's superior to that. That's right. Showing you that God is greater than the flesh. That's right. There's a number that no man can number. No man can These number. are they that's arrayed in white robes that's right. that have palms in their hands. And cried with a loud voice. Cried with a loud voice. Saying salvation. salvation. To our God. 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 That we are laboring to get in. The number that you can't count. That's right. Yes, sir. Can't count. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Can't count it. The number is everywhere. Wonderful. Think of it. It says a number. No man can number. No man. No man. Someone said, well, Pastor Jennings, do God know how many it is? Yes. No man. Well, the Bible said no man. No man. That's right. That don't include God. Because right. God is not a man. That's right. That he should lie. That's right. Need to see the son of man. Wonderful. That he should repent. God said he know them that are his. That's, right. That's why he told his apostles, right. you going to all the world. Man. I want to get them out of Africa. Man. Get them from America. Man. Get them from Canada. Man. Get them from Australia. Man. 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 I saw a number. Hallelujah. That number. That's why we preach it. 
Hallelujah. For a number can be gathered. Hallelujah. Go with it. That's why we're laboring. Yes, sir. That number. Amen. That no man can number. That's right. Is bigger Wonderful. than the Hebrews. Wonderful. It's Wonderful. bigger Wonderful. than the Jews. Wonderful. Now, Wonderful. the Bible says this Wonderful. salvation, here comes Jesus again, Wonderful. Wonderful. preaching to hell of Israel. That's right. He says, salvation yes. is to the Jews. That's right. That's right. That's he right. said, but the hour Wonderful. cometh, Wonderful. and now Wonderful. is. Wonderful. is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father, worship the Father in, spirit. in spirit. In spirit. In spirit. Hallelujah. 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 In spirit. Hallelujah. You got to have the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. He said the body without the spirit is dead. And if you don't have the spirit, Amen. you are none of his. Wonderful. You Jews, Amen. you Hebrews, according to the flesh. But if you don't have the spirit of the living God, you're none of his. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Oh, this is so good. Hallelujah. What did he say, son? Wonderful. After this I beheld. After this I looked. I Hallelujah. saw a great number. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful. I saw a great number. Wonderful. Which no Wonderful. man could number. That's the number we're trying to get in. Yes. That's it. Yes, the sir. number yes, that nobody can count. That's yes. right. No man can number. Hallelujah. The Gentiles yes, were not designed Wonderful. Wonderful. for the hundred yes, and forty-four oh. thousand. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, now that's, that's God's covenant with Abraham and he's determined to keep his pack he kept his pack so God chose to choose 12,000 of Jews out of each tribe to keep his pack with Abraham but God say I go away to prepare a place where I am you may be also. Right. John said, I saw new Jews coming down. Go ahead. Hallelujah. 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 From God Hallelujah. out of heaven. Wonderful. You Jews, Wonderful. you migrate to this Jerusalem. That's right. yeah. That's right. You go at what you call the willing wall. Yes, Earthly. Earthly. Yes. Earthly. Yes. Residing from the Torah. That's right. That's right. Valley. Valley. Earthly, glorying right. in your Judaism. That's right. But there's a Jerusalem yeah. not made with hands, right. eternal in the heavens. In the heavens. Yeah. And he Jesus away. said, I go away from here. Right. That where I am, you may be also. Right. John said, The city, I force, the breath, and the height thereof. God did it. Went away from him. Let's Hallelujah. Glory to God for the church. 144,000. God kept his agreement with Abraham and got 12,000. Out of each tribe, yes, sir. he kept his agreement. Yes, sir. But God wasn't stopping with Abraham. Arise up. He said, There's a number. No man can number. These were their red and white robes. So for that group, he said, I'm going away. Prepare a place for you. <laughs> that where I am, he may be also. John said, I saw. New Jerusalem. Notice the language of the city. And he carried me away. New Jerusalem. Now, this new Jerusalem, you can't take a bus trip or a plane to see it. This is the way you got to see it. Revelation chapter 21 and at verse 10. That's what? And he carried me away. How? In the spirit. What? He carried me away in the spirit. He carried me away in the spirit. In the spirit to a great and high mountain. Amen. The spirit. 
took him around a high mountain. That's right. And, and showed me. And he showed me. That great city. That great city. The holy Jerusalem. The holy. Wait, now, now. Amen. Jerusalem here on earth Amen. is not holy. No, that's right. Someone said, what? You're not holy. That's right. Because you Jews allow homosexual parades in the streets of Jerusalem. And you are not holy. Jerusalem there on this earth have became equal to Sodom and Gomorrah. And you are corrupt by your sins. Talk to me. It doesn't matter if Trump recognized Jerusalem as a capital. I don't mean nothing. A sinner represent or recognize a city as a capital. I don't mean nothing. We are not preparing. Some folks say I want to go to Israel. I don't care if I don't never go to Israel. You just people, brick, mortar, stone. Don't you know there's a people that's superior to the Jew? There's a people superior to the Jew. There's a people of the last days. The Jew is connected to Abraham by the flesh. They that are after the flesh cannot please God. That's right. You got to be after the spirit. That's right. That's right. You're related to Abraham Amen. by the flesh. Amen. But you got to be connected to the God of Abraham yeah. by the spirit. By the spirit. By the spirit. Wonderful what is that? And, and he carried me away in the spirit, me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, great and, high mountain. and showed me, showed me that, great city, that great city, the holy Jerusalem, the holy Jerusalem. descending Amen. out of heaven from God, descending out of heaven from God, having Amen. the glory of God. Wait a minute. Jerusalem now in the Middle East ain't got the glory of God. No, you ain't got the glory of God. I dare you to tell me you have. You don't have the glory of God. No. You failed. Yeah. Because it was in Jerusalem where water and spirit was preached. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. That's right. All right. Having the glory of God. Having the glory of God. And her light was like unto a stone most precious. Her light was like a stone most precious. Even like unto a, a jasper. Like stone. unto a jasper. Clear as crystal. Clear as crystal. And had a wall great and high. Glory to God. Talk about New Jerusalem. The wall was great and high. And high. And had twelve gates. Had twelve gates. And at the gates twelve and at angels. The gate had twelve what? Twelve angels. Twelve angels. And names written thereon. And the names are written on it. Which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Now, what do you mean had twelve angels? Twelve angels represent messages. That's right. Mean God had a message for each tribe. That's, right. That's all that is. That's right. I want to be good for the Hebrew Israelite that wrote me and asked me to explain that scripture. That's right. Notice what it says there. And he had and had a wall great and had high. Had a wall great and high. And had twelve gates. And had twelve gates. And at the gates twelve angels. Why would it be a gate? That lets you know that, you, uh, that Israel had permission from God to enter and to exit. That's right. Uh -huh. And at the gates, 12 at, at angels. The gate had 12 angels, meaning there was a messenger. And names written thereon. And names written thereon. Which are the names of names the 12 of the tribes 12 of the tribes children of Israel. Of Israel. Uh -huh. On the east, three gates. Three gates. On the north, three gates. Three gates. On the south, three, three gates. gates. And on the west, three, three gates. gates. And the wall of the city. The wall of the city. Had 12 foundations. Wait a minute. Now, you, you got the gates. Right. And you got the angels. Yes. You got to have a foundation. foundation. Right. Now, I want to show you the greatness of the foundation. That's right. The foundation is greater than the angels. That's right. Yeah. Amen. What is that? And the wall of the city had 12 Glory foundations. Take God, the wall of the city had 12 foundations. And in them, in them, the names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. You hear, the, you hear the apostles standing up with Brother Peter. Let all the house of Israel know it surely. That God has made the same Jesus whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Notice the names. And the names of the twelve apostles. The names of the twelve apostles. Of the Lamb. Of the Lamb. Of the Lamb. The name of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. Hold it right there. Why did it say the name of the twelve apostles of the Lamb? Because when he was the lamb, or when he was walking here, flesh and blood, that's, that's right. when he chose twelve. That's right. He chose twelve. That's why Paul name ain't there. That's right. 
That's right. That's right. That's what Paul named it. That's right. Twelve apostles of the Lamb. Because when the Lamb was here, Paul was in the, among the apostles. That's right. That's why the twelve of the Lamb. Of the Lamb. Twelve. No. That don't include Paul. No. Twelve of the Lamb means twelve of the Son of God. That's right. The ones that walk with him, yes. talk with him, yes. ate with him, yes. handled him. That's right. That's of the Lamb. Of the Lamb. Glory to God. All right, come on, Dan. I was studying Jehovah's Witnesses. I need to know what you think about the 144,000. All right, I told you what it is. All right. Uh, and, and Colossians 1, verse 15. All right, Colossians 1, 15. Amen. When it says Jesus is the firstborn of all creation. We're straightening that out. In all Colossians right. chapter 1. Begin at verse 14. And at verse 14. All right. In whom we have redemption through his blood. Now when God Almighty manifests himself in the flesh, that body was God's form, God's shape, God fashioned, the mediator, the son of God that was made. For God's glory. That's right. It was through that body that he would redeem man and reconcile man to God. That's right. Man fell and came short of the glory of God, and by his transgression, sin came into the world. That's right. And Jesus came into the world and manifest uh, the wisdom of God and the power of God and the glory of God. And through his manifestation of flesh and blood, yeah, he would come along and take sin away from the human family. Right. What did he say? In whom we have redemption through his blood. We have redemption. That's why blood is shed. Right. That we may be redeemed. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Even the forgiveness of sins. And the forgiveness of sins. Who is the image of the invisible God. Now wait a minute. God's image was God's form. Right. God's form was God's shape. Right. God's shape was God's fashion. And God's fashion was God's figure. Right. And God's figure was the mediator. And the mediator was the body. And the body was the minister. And the minister was the son of David. And the son of David was the son of God. Right. And the son of God was the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Right. So that body was the image of who? Of the invisible God. Amen. That was the lion within the lamb. That's right. That's right. And you couldn't see the lion. The invisible God was the power that was in Jesus. It was the force that was in Jesus. And it was the authority that was in Jesus. Right. And it was the Holy Ghost that was in Jesus. That's right. When the Bible says Jesus of Nazareth was full, was filled of the Holy Ghost. That means he was full of God. That's right. Eh? That's right. God was in him. Was in Don't you hear Paul say to wit, God was in Christ Jesus, right. reconciling the world. Who would take God to himself? That's right. All right, William. Who is the image of the invisible God? He's the image of the invisible God. The firstborn. The firstborn. Of every creature. Hold it right there. Glory to the God on high. The firstborn. Of every creature. Listen, this is the first time that a child was born. Different from every other creature on the planet. That's right. Firstborn. Firstborn of every creature. Of every creature. Every creature. Another scripture says in the book of Revelation, he's the first begotten of the dead. Of the dead. That's right. First That's why he's called first and last. Firstborn of every creature. Every other creature came through the involvement of flesh. That's right. That's right. But this one, this one, you better give me the book of St. John, if you Saint will, John, move fast. That's right. St. John chapter 1. Uh, let, let, let's read this when he says, not of blood. Mm -hmm. Nor of the will of the flesh. St. John chapter 1, we're at verse 13. Follow me. Which were born. Talking about the birth of Jesus. The first. The first. First, first born, born of every creature. Of every creature. Now, I want, this to, I want you to get this. Because you blind Jehovah Witness have said the first born of every creature. Meaning that the son of God was in heaven and was born in heaven. All right. If he was born in heaven, who was his mama up there? That's right. Amen. And others of you are so full of hell and so blind. You said the Son of God with flesh and blood came down from heaven. Don't you hear the Bible say flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God? Son of God with flesh and blood ain't never been in heaven and did not come down from heaven. What came down from heaven was spirit. And the spirit overshadowed the woman. And then when it overshadowed the woman, it made that holy thing. The thing that was holy was the Son of God. And when the body was born, God was in the thing. That's right. God was in that holy thing. That's right. Reconciling the world unto himself. That's right. If you wanted to get to God, you first had to accept the performance of the Son of Man yeah. or the Son of God or that body. That's what it meant when he said, No man, glory to God, come to the Father. No man can get to the Spirit except by me. In other words, if you want to be connected to the eternal life, you got to first accept the performance of the natural life. All right. Which were born. Which is born. Not of blood. I want to show you this because that body of flesh and blood was superior to ours. That's right. Oh, yes. Amen. It was superior. Oh, yes. Better than ours. Yes. That's why Paul said he was made in the likeness. Yes. 
right. of sinful flesh in the likeness. That's right. He wasn't sinful flesh, no. but he was in the likeness of it. He looked like it. Looked like it. Amen. But he was better than it. That's right. Glory to God. Which were born. Which was born. Not of blood. Not of blood. Nor of the will of the flesh. Wait a minute. Not of blood. Not of blood. But when a man and woman come together and that man discharged seed in the woman within the seed of that man, blood is there. That's right. There was no mixture of the sinful blood of the human race tied up in his body. That's right. And not of blood. Amen. Not of blood. Nor, nor of the will of the flesh. Hey, nor the will of flesh. Well, that, that roll out Mary and Joseph sleeping together for Jesus to get here. That's right. Hey? That's right. All right. Nor of the will of man. What? Nor of the will of man. Look at it. God just crushing man being tied right. to the arrival of That's the right. Son of God. That's right. But of what? But of God. It was of whose will? Of God. You hear God talking out his will all down through the Bible. Oh, yes. Amen, amen. Bless God just sending the prophets ahead of the flesh. And you hear Isaiah talking about that a uh, sign shall be, that a virgin shall be with child, and thou shalt call his name Emmanuel, being interpreted God with us. Amen. Under us a child is born and a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulder and the name shall be called Wonderful Counselor of the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end. Right. And even when Jacob was about to die, right. he examined all his sons. But when he got to Judah, he saw something in Judah he didn't see in none of them. That's right. That's right. He told Judah, well, thou art he whom thine brethren go and praise. It is thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemy. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah, thou art a lion's whip from the prey, my son. You stoop down. You couch as a lion and as an old lion. Who shall rise him up? The scepter or the authority or the power shall not depart from Judah nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh come. And when he get here under him shall the gathering of the people be. Then Jacob said, binding his fold, to the vine. Hold it, brother Jacob. Here comes Jesus coming here now saying, I'm the true vine. Here, I am the true vine. Jacob said he's going to bind his fold to the vine. Jesus said, oh, the sheep that I have, but they're not of this fold. That's right. Lord, God, but I'm going to bring them in also. That's right. What did he say, son? Binding his fold unto the vine. And his ass is called to the choice vine. He washed his garments in wine. He washed his garment in what? In wine. And what about his clothes? And his clothes in the blood of grief. Isaiah said, uh, who is this that's coming from Edom with a dyed garment from Bozar? His glory is to his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak of the righteousness, he's mighty to save. You saw his garment getting washed in the blood of grief. When he was up on the cross, thank God, the true vine. Thank God was up on the cross hanging thank God between heaven and earth who was the true vine the son of God Christ Jesus there's a lie out now people say that Pastor Genesis don't believe that Jesus died uh, he died and rose and ascended above all heavens amen the son of God was there on the cross thank God and there were some thieves hanging around there uh, and when time come bless God for their legs to be broken their legs were broken but when they came to Jesus, they said, thank God, not a bone will be broken. They, they couldn't break his leg because he was dead already. And after they realized that he was dead, they pierced him in the side. Out came blood and water, fulfilling the prophet that they shall look upon me. Whom they have pierced. One prophet said, they pierced my hands and my feet. Let the habitations be desolate. And don't let no one dwell there in their tents. And that which have been for welfare, let it become a trap. Amen. So he being the firstborn of every creature, that was the first time that God ever stopped at a house and got a woman and made a body in the body of a human being without that woman had relation. And then that body come into existence and he called it a son. That's right. Firstborn. Firstborn. That's right. Of every creature. Of every Amen. creature. Yeah. Amen. All right. For by him. By, by them. By him. One preacher said, well, first born of every creature means he was the first one born again and was put in the church. That's a lie. That's a lie. Jesus didn't need no new birth. No. Jesus ain't need no new birth. No, no. No. How he gonna need the new birth and tell you I'm the way, yeah. the truth, and the life. Yeah. Jesus didn't need no new birth. No, no. A person that needs the new birth has to come out of sin. That's right. Jesus knew no sin. No sin. Yeah. That's right. What else did he say? For by him were all things created. The firstborn 
of every creature. The firstborn of every creature. What else? For by him were all things created. All right, the creature didn't create nothing. No. The creature was created itself. That's, That's right. right. What you mean by him? The spirit that was in that creature was the creator of the universe. That's right. Is that all that? That, I, that? that was at verse 16. All right. Let's finish 15. All right, let's get the next letter. Come on.